that was the teaser for Lightning Strikes, Chapter 2 of Battlefield 5's Tides of War. Honestly, there's not much for us to go on from that trailer, but there are a couple of details that have surfaced that I can tell you about. The banner image that is now live on Twitter and Facebook shows a brand new vehicle coming to the game. The Stug, or Stug. I think it's Stug. I'm going to go with that one. This is a German tank destroyer that was adapted from the Panzer design, and I think this is the Stug IV, using the body of the Panzer IV. Although we don't see a direct competitor for the Allies here, I expect we'll see one next week when this chapter goes live. The banner itself does make heavy use of vehicles, so I think we can be certain that this chapter will focus on vehicle gameplay again. The German Blitzkrieg across Europe in the early stages of World War II is well known. The direct translation of the word Blitzkrieg is Lightning War, and that links into the title of this chapter. And this frame here of the teaser shows what looks like an American soldier fighting off German attackers using a Tommy gun. However, we know DICE has thrown some historical accuracy out of the window for Battlefield 5. I don't think this is a reveal of the American faction. I think this is just a standard allied soldier wearing some American gear. I think DICE would have made a much bigger deal of the American faction coming to the game in the build-up to the chapter if it was actually happening. So at the moment, I don't think the Americans are here in Battlefield 5. A full trailer for the chapter is coming next week, again with a patch and all of the content that we can expect to be using in the chapter as well, so we will have to wait a little bit longer before we get absolute confirmation. One other small detail, DICE Today released a back-end update to Battlefield 5 that included a potential fix for company coin not being rewarded to level 50 players after each round. At the moment, this potential fix hasn't quite fixed the issue for some players. It isn't handing out the correct amount of company coins to other players either, and some people just aren't getting any company coin at all. The only real way to check if you're earning company coin is to exit the server and look at the value in the armory to see if it's changed from the last time you saw it. Again, it's a very imperfect solution, but DICE did reiterate that this was a test to see whether this would fix the problem, but clearly it hasn't quite fixed everything. It really does seem as if the company coin issue is something deeper than we all assumed, but it is good to see that DICE are working hard to try and fix it. But there you are, that's all for now. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.